Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all the best jump shot on NBA 2K23 for guards. Now, I'm going to show y'all two jump shots. My main jump shot, which actually you need a very high 3.04 for, and another lower rated 3 point jump shot. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a guard, no matter the jump shot rating you have, you're going to have a jump shot in this video. I'm going to get y'all straight with the shooting. NBA 2K24 has been out for, you know what I'm saying, about a day now, and I've been grinding, you know what I'm saying, trying out new animations, new jump shots, and I finally found the jump shot that is best for me, and I just think the best in general, you know what I'm saying, I haven't really seen too many people use this jump shot, but it's chicken, I've been going crazy, I'm shooting them. So I'm saying, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. Last year, I don't know, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I, I was pretty good guarding. So I feel like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to jump shots. But not only am I going to show y'all jump shots, I'm going to be showing y'all, um, you know what I'm saying, badges, maybe even, you know, tips, tricks to become a better shooter. Because there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more things and settings that you have to know. So do not skip any of this video. Watch the entire video because I'm going to be giving gems about shooting on NBA 2K24, which I know a lot of people have been struggling that's all I really got, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we are here in the park. And so the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is going over to Optum slash Quinn. I'm going to go over my settings first, you know what I'm saying? Control settings because I added a lot of new stuff that you need to know about. All right, first we're in the normal settings difficulty. So, you know what I'm saying? Here we have game difficulty. This is for my career. I haven't played my career, so you know what I'm saying? If you want to put it on Hall of Fame, you can. Five minute quarter skin does not matter. Um, nickname does not matter. None of this really matters. But we're going to go over to shot feedback. So I think the default, like, you know, it's, and it's set on off. I had it on users only. Like, if you watch my first stream, it's on users only. At least have it on users only so you can see your shot timing. You know what I'm saying? If you're shooting slightly late, slightly early. You know what I'm saying? So you can improve your jump shot that way. But I put it on all shots. You know, I like to see the like, test I get on shots. You know what I'm saying? My friends, you know what I'm saying, how they're shooting. But at least make it to where you can see your shot feedback. You know what I'm saying? So you can know how to time your shot and what you're doing wrong. And I don't think none of these really affect shooting. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can kind of just scroll through them. You know what I'm saying? Pause if you need to. Like, here's some ball handling stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't really think none of this matters. But if you want to copy them down, you can. Although most of them is just the default settings. Okay, so now for controller settings, and this is something that's actually very important, so you're going to want to pay attention and do not skip this. Okay, so first thing we have is vibration. Vibration, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you get vibration on shots, but I just have it on. I've been playing with it all my life. I did use it, you know what I'm saying, off a little bit last year. You know what I'm saying? I just really like it on. I played with it both, both again this year, but uh, yeah, I just keep it on. Now, shot timing. This is an important one. You want to put this on shots and layups. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do shots only because layup timing is actually very good this year. And especially if you get good at it, it is a very good skill to have. You know what I'm saying? Layups can actually be pretty OP in this game. So put it on shots and layups. Free throw timing. You know what I'm saying? I have it on user timing. I don't even know if real player percentage works for free throws. Just put it on user timing just to be safe. Okay, for this next setting, if you're going to listen to any setting I give in any of these, it's going to be this one. So shot timing visual cue. What this is, it's essentially from last year, like the shot timing release, like uh, height or whatever it was, you know what I'm saying, the early, late, all that, yeah, that was replaced by shot timing visual cue. So, it's, you know what I'm saying, we have jump, set point, push, and release. Go set point or push because this is like early or late from last year. Push is the default. I've been using push the entire year and I've been greening very consistently. I shoot again, like I said, almost 60% from three point range, which is day one really good. So put this on push, but you know what I'm saying? Set point is also good. Okay, once you got that down, shot meter. Listen, shot meter, I didn't even try it this year. I just turned it off first thing because you get a 20% boost from having your shot meter off, which is absolutely crazy. So you're gonna wanna turn your shot meter off. You know what I'm saying? If you're brand new to 2K and you've never played a 2K before, you don't know how to turn, um, time a jump shot, put it on, you know what I'm saying? That's a good case for you to have it on so you can at least learn how to shoot. If you know a little bit about shooting, put it on off and it's gonna be so much better. And not only the boost, you also have like a slight delay, you know what I'm saying? With the green windows and the shot meter and just timing your shot with the shot meter. So if you can learn with it off, that is very good. Layup meter. Now I know shot meter, I turned off, but layup meter you want to keep on. 
this is how you get you know what i'm saying your lamp timings like i said earlier for shot timings you're going to want to have lamp meter on so you know how to time your lamps because again the lamp meter the green window is massive if you can get good at timing them and doing these acrobatic lamps you're going to be good and free throw meter i don't even know i haven't even shot free throws this year i'm keeping it off you know what i'm saying i always just i don't like shooting with meter on period rather if it's free throws or normal shots and you probably still get the boost for that you know what i'm saying the 20 percent boost on free throws so just keep that on off now all of these next settings for shot meter which I, I turned it off so these don't really matter to me but you can actually choose you know what i'm saying how you want your shot meter you know what i'm saying if you want it for all shots shot button only your location to the side by the head shot meter size um shot meter color and here perfect release i have this on i put it above my player i think it's by default it's um at the goal so i put it on above player which has been for like 23 and 22. now for these last controller settings i'm gonna go into my dribble moves video which will be out tomorrow so maybe by the time you're watching this my dribble moves are out you know what i'm saying i've been labbing up crazy so yeah i'm gonna go over these settings later but yeah i'm saying you can just i'm just gonna quickly sc uh, scroll through it and you can just decide you know what i'm saying what settings you want and the next thing we're gonna be going over is boost you know what i'm saying shot boost we're gonna go over to progression to get boost and then go over to jump shots and yeah if you get jump shot boost i bought them you know what i'm saying they're cheap you're gonna make 1500 vc in 10 games easily especially if you get the boost from jump shot boost i know people say like oh they don't matter anymore they do trust me on this one buy boost it is well worth it if you want to you can buy you know if you're a big man you get blocks boost ball handling boost whatever I also have Gatorade boosts, which are more expensive than, you know what I'm saying? I got some for free to start the game, but I didn't really, you know, buy any after that. But yeah, they added this new, like, Zion Smart Bottle, and they, they changed the Gatorade boost up a little bit, so I might try that out later. But yeah, more info is going to come out on my jump shot video, like I said. But yeah, Gatorade boost is also an option. The next thing I'm going over is I'm just going to talk about the takeover. As you can see at the bottom, right there, you can see takeover, select takeover. And you know what I'm saying? So now for this year, you actually don't choose your takeover when you make your build. You know what I'm saying? If you watch my build video, you would know this. Link is going to be in the description for this build. This build is an absolute demigod. I'm going to show the stats later. Okay, for the next section of this video, I'm going to be at the Gatorade training facility. You can see right here. Um, here it is on the map, but I'm going to pop a picture up from current and This is where the Gatorade training facility is. And it's actually a lot different than last year. I'm still not completely sure how it works, but you get five workouts and those workouts actually help playmaking badges, you know what I'm saying? So this is for more for playmaking, but there's also stuff that helps shooting. Because there's also quests you can complete in the gym, you know what I'm saying? To get you like gym rat or an upgrade on your physicals, because you can still help, you know, with your shooting. And if you go in the back, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have the Gatorade fuel station, which is another place you can buy those Gatorade boosts. But also here, you're gonna have um a option to reserve a private court which on next gen you know what i'm saying you don't have a my court so which i don't really get um but i've been having issues with this let's see if i get in it, it seems like i do not have any problems so yeah i'm gonna go show y'all what it's about in current gen you know what i'm saying just go into your my court so once you find the little room the court with your name on it you're gonna want to get out of basketball and it should okay it was bugged earlier uh, but yeah, now you can just kind of, you know, shoot around, practice your dribbling and shooting. And this is the best place to practice your shooting and dribbling because it gives you real park difficulty and delay gyms or whatever, get, or like rookie mode. So yeah, you don't want to go to the Gatorade gym to practice your shooting. And like I said earlier, it is bugged. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so for the next part of this video, I'm going to go over to my progression just to show you all my build, you know what I'm saying? This is the build that I just made, link in the description to get the full tutorial, because not only do I show how to make the build, but I also give gems about the builder, because again, you know what I'm saying, it's a very complicated builder, and you don't want to mess up. But I have a 92 three-pointer, so that's actually pretty high, and the jump shot I use actually you need a pretty high three-pointer, but I'm going to give you all multiple guard jump shots. And maybe in a later video, you know what I'm saying, once I make my other build, I'm going to show you, you know, jump shots for big men jump shots for wings you know stuff like that and one of the last things i want to show before i get into my jump shot is the badges now badges are a lot different so last year if you remember you had the categories and your badge points you know what i'm saying you got you get to choose with your badge points what you want to put your badge points on see what badges you get you know what i'm saying and i'll show you all the best badges for guards um but yeah so badges are a lot different they're separated into tiers based off like how good the uh the badge is and so yeah you're gonna see like this is where you get your badges and to upgrade them you gotta actually use the badge like for agent threes i gotta shoot pull-up shots for handles for days i just gotta dribble a lot speed boost you know what i'm saying i already have a couple of them on silver because i've been grinding you know what i'm saying 
uh but yeah so you're gonna lose actually um your badges if you do not use them so make sure you know what i'm saying you're getting those shooting badges because they do help a lot this year as well and now for the time you've all been waiting for i'm gonna go into animations you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go over to jump shot creator and i'm gonna go over and this is my jump shot right here if you can see it on the left stephen curry kyrie irving oscar robertson 56% Kyrie Irving, 44% Oscar Roberts and Max B. And as you can see on the right, the grades are insane. I'm believing the hype, you know what I'm saying? I think that grades actually mean something. This doesn't need a 91 three-pointer. So for my guards, you know what I'm saying? Sharpshooting Steph Curry guards. Use this jump shot right here. It is so good, you know what I'm saying? You saw the gameplay earlier. It is so good. Now, I understand that not everybody gets a 91 three-pointer, especially for this build. So I'm going to show y'all one more jump shot where, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit cheaper. Okay, for the last jump shot, you know what I'm saying, the lower three-point jump shot, you only need an 81 for this, you know what I'm saying, so most guards, you know what I'm saying, under 6'5 should get this, so base Kyle Lowry, release one, Fred Van Vliet, and release two, Jordan McLaughlin, 56% Van Vliet again, max speed, you know what I'm saying, most people may not even know who Jordan McLaughlin is, you know what I'm saying, but hey, his jump shot is chicken, this is one of the first jump shots I used, you know what I'm saying, I used it on stream, if you want to go watch that. Uh, but yeah, this is my jump shot for lower rated three-pointer builds. But that's all I really got for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, follow the socials in the description, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be covering up more bangers on NBA 2K24. I'm grinding all the time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's all I got. Peace. Know what I did.